China has seen a boom in the construction of the high-speed rail infrastructure over the past decade. From pursuer to front runner, how has high-speed rail changed the way people in China travel, and what do these changes mean for China's modernization? My co-pilot on this high-speed rail journey between Beijing and Zhangjiakou explains. The Beijing Zhangjiakou line is the world's first intelligent high-speed rail link. On which automated trains reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour. Automated driving has saved drivers from performing repeated tasks. We have more time to check lines and equipment. But my co-pilot tells me China's answer to high-speed rail involves more than speed. Our bullet trains could operate on lines built to handle different speeds and resist multiple climates such as extreme cold. Zhao says the carriage is on the Fuxin bullet train, which is designed and manufactured entirely in China, are taller and wider than standard models, meaning they can carry more passengers. A large population is one of the defining features of Chinese modernization. The national high-speed rail network links more than 94 percent of China's major cities and a population of over one million people. High-quality service also helps build a modernized China. We have increased the number of passenger-friendly services, such as providing some mosquito repellent and wheelchair storage areas. But the development of China's high-speed rail network is not a smooth journey. Badaling Great Wall Station on the Beijing Zhangjiakou Line is one example. Zhao says Badaling Station is the world's deepest high-speed railway station, about 102 meters below the surface. There are lots of problems, and the Badaling Station is just a microcosm. But we have figured them out. We have introduced the modern control technology to reduce noise and a simulation testing system, which could significantly cut costs. The safety standards employed and a competitive cost of construction have also earned China's high-speed rail a warm welcome in neighboring countries, bringing economic and social development along the Belt and Road Initiative. When asked to comment on the network's future development, Zhao has one word in mind: standard. Chinese standards for high-speed rail have been implemented on the Jakarta-Bandung line. I think China's standard will go further into the world. Not only confident of its own development, but also willing to offer help. This is China's way of modernizing.